Hey everybody, it's Emily, the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today um, for a little kind of midweek look on our side by side by side uh, experiment. So we have the um, European night crawlers, then we have the red wigglers and the African night crawlers. So I wanted to get in here and take a peek. Um, we did feed them the other day, but I don't think I will feed today regardless because I will not be around to monitor this bin. Um, so, we know that there are four worms in each bin to start with. The moisture does feel a little bit better in here, although there are some dry pockets and wet pockets. But it looks like our wet pocket down here is probably where we added the food. And it was celery, I believe. And I don't see any celery left. Well, that's pretty cool. But you can see down this side's a little bit wet and the other side's a little bit more dry. Um, I'm not immediately seeing any of the worms, which is interesting. So I'm gonna dig around a little bit, see if I can find our worms. And now I'm thinking I might wanna feed them. Oh, go figure. So I'm gonna look around in here a little bit um, and then we'll move on to the red wigglers. Took some time, but I did find them. They were down in the corner near the food. And there was a little piece of the celery left that I did find. But I still think we'll probably add a little something today. Okay, so here we are with the red wigglers. And we'll do the same thing, try to find where the food was and see if our worms are anywhere to be found. I see some of the celery down here. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. And similar to the European bin, it feels like it's a little bit moist in some areas and dry in others. And I'm not, I'm not immediately seeing cocoons in here or worms. So I'm going to do the same thing so that this video doesn't get too long and do a quick assessment in here and just make sure everyone is alive and well. And um, then we'll move on to the African Nightcrawlers. All of the reds are alive and well. Okay, so last and surely not least is our African Nightcrawler bin. We'll do our same quick assessment. Still some celery down here. And this bin feels a bit drier. but down on this side, it's more moist. So identical to the other bin situation. And I do see our worms, or at least I see one or two of them. Here's one. They always love the pockets of moisture. Worms will go to the spot that is most easily inhabitable for them and they are in here as well, very alive. So I'm gonna poke around a little bit further, see if I find any cocoons, um, and I do think I will give all of these bins a small feeding today. Okay, so the first bin to be fed is going to be the Red Wigglers, and I've decided to add coffee grounds to each bin and mix it in well. I think it'll be easier to see cocoons if we have some dark material. It's a food source, but it doesn't tend to cause problems the way that other food sources do. I'm not adding a lot, but I did weigh it out it's equal, but now I'm thinking I maybe want to do one more container of it, but all right, I'm gonna have to get another container so I can make sure these are all even. So I'm gonna use one of the other ones. So I'm gonna double up what I thought I was gonna do. So, I'm going to mix this all in, and I did choose a very wet feeding. 
so that I can try to run the system without adding more moisture because I'm not going to get it right for a while until these guys just start working through it. It's just not going to be equal anywhere. So the coffee grounds definitely are rancid. They smell horrible. Um, they've been sitting for a while, but I think that should help. I will add a um, little bit of eggshell. See if I can measure this out so we're even here. All right, a little bit of eggshell. And I did a orange slice for each one. This is huge feeding. This is a forbidden food, but I figured we're already doing something pretty crazy. So might as well. I'm gonna dig a hole down the bottom because citrus is definitely a big attractant for fruit flies and this was not frozen like I said, but that will release a lot of moisture and then I'm hoping that with the coffee ground medium being mixed in a little bit with our bedding, it will start to break down a little bit quicker and we'll be able to spot cocoons more easily. So let me hop over to the next bin and we will keep going and I'll try not to get make this too, too long, but as you know, I love to talk. Okay, I can't remember if I misspoke. The first bin that we did was the European night crawlers. I just didn't want there to be any confusion. Um, so here is our red wigglers. Again, I'm adding the coffee grounds that have been sitting on my counter. Measure out two little containers of them each so they're equal. I'm gonna mix this in because coffee grounds on their own will dry out, but if they mix in with other moist material, they um, retain moisture pretty efficiently. Okay, so we have equal coffee grounds now in here. And I will add my orange slice down in the corner, cover it up. And let me get the little bit of eggshell here. Okay, African night crawlers last. All right, so as not to waste time, I added the coffee grounds before I turned the camera on. I'm gonna mix these in real well because some of this material is dry. sure I'm disturbing these worms but they'll settle back down some people have told me before that I'm very rough with the worms and perhaps it appears that way but I, I think I'm pretty pretty humane with them I love my worms so I would never do anything that I thought was harmful to them orange slice and our eggshell bury this back up. I want to even out the bedding so that we don't dry out in any one spot. So I think this should be a nice um, next feeding for these guys. It is a few days early. Um, maybe when I post it, it won't be, but this was not a full, full week between feedings, but that orange slice should last them a good long time if I'm not able to get to them in time next week. It doesn't necessarily have to be a weekly thing as long as we continue the experiment um, evenly. If we're feeding one, we have to feed the other two. So that's it for today, guys. Let me know what you think. Drop your comments below. Like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me, and I'll be back with you guys soon for an update.